Yo, today we're doing the CSGO flip. Um, so here is what it looks like. That's the move. And here is a slow-mo. All right, so this move, obviously it's pretty straightforward. You can probably just figure it out and wing it and they'll probably work. But there's some things that are important to make this move look good. So to start off, I'm just gonna go over it real quick. I found the best grip for this is to start in the reverse grip, of course, with your blade of your knife pointing away from you. You're going to have your thumb and your index finger grabbing the safe handle about three quarters of the way up, like that. So my, it's right by the tip of my thumb and right in the middle of my index finger there. Either three fingers are just wrapped around. This move, of course, it starts off by releasing with your last three fingers and the bite handle drops. Now, the thing with that, you want for this move, you want it to be kind of forceful. So you'll note to start my hand is pointing upwards. To initiate this move, I'm going to point downwards. And that's going to give me some wrist action going on, like that. And another thing you'll note is that because of this grip I'm taking, the blade is not hitting my wrist, right? So it's not directly in line with my wrist. It's just outside my wrist, like that, right? So it's kind of going behind my hand there, something like that. So once you got that figured out, you can do this. The next step is to, as you do this, to move your hand downwards. So you see my wrist here is up, and it moves down a little bit. It's not that much, but it's a little bit, and that's going to help you with keeping the knife in the same spot. So usually when you fling out the knife, it'll go all over the place, you have to reach out and you'll grab it, all that stuff. I find if you move your hand downwards, the throw upwards, because you're moving your wrist back up, it's gonna stay like kind of in the same spot. So, you got the knife, thumb, index finger, you release, you turn your hand downwards, you move downwards, this handle's gonna fly. Now as you release this handle, you're gonna take your bottom three fingers and you're gonna wrap them around the safe handle that. So what will happen is if, if you're doing it right, it'll look something like this, right? You fling it out, you grab. Now, as it ricochets, it does one ricochet and it comes back up. And right before it comes back up, right, you're going to move your thumb out of the way. That's important because it's going to hit your thumb, right? And that's probably pretty in instinctive to you. Move your thumb out of the way and release with your last three fingers. And the knife is going to come up and you're going to grab it. Now, one thing to note with this throw is it actually looks better if you wait and so if you try and just do this move and grab it right you can see it's kind of like you're trying to catch it the knife is way open it's all over the place and you're trying to catch it and it's it's kind of hard and it looks bad but if you fling the knife out you come up you release and you wait maybe half a second what will happen you'll notice is the handles will start to close and you can snatch it and it'll look way better so I'll show you what that looks like something like that right so instead of waiting for the handles when they're all out you're trying to catch it as fast as you can if you just be patient um, and you wait that'll make it look nicer so even that one which didn't look too great it looks better than if you try and just catch it right away or maybe it doesn't i don't know the point is you can figure it out but this is kind of a weird move i uh, hope you guys like that one thanks for watching peace